Is it live? Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you doing a like Facebook live? Yeah. Oh. Is it live now? Yeah. All right. So this is a shout out to anybody who went through a, any kind of a disciplinary counsel. If that was you, drop a comment below. Um, let us know how your experience was. Uh, Crystal and I were just talking about this, and I can't believe. <laughs> I'm two years out of the church. I can't believe how scarred, emotionally, um, you know, scarred I am from those one uh, before my, or one right after my mission, and then one when I had uh, premarital sex with Crystal Escobar. <laughs> she was a temptress. Oh, my oh yeah. gosh. <laughs> Um, There's no resisting this. <laughs> blame man. it on the woman. <laughs> Adam blamed it on the woman. Well, anyway. The woman that gave it to me. <laughs> and commanded did. me to be with. She, <laughs> she, what did he, she beckoned me, what does he say? I don't know. It's she been did. been too long now. <laughs> <laughs> and I did and I partake. Did eat. I did partake. I did eat. Yeah, I did partake. But anyway, um, if you are that person who was scarred like I was and had had such a skewed view of your sexuality and um, sex in general. Like I was just telling Crystal about how I've so struggled with the thought that my daughter is ever going to have sex with anyone. Like I can hardly even come to grips with it. I'm getting better. It's getting better. Like I've gotten to the point now where I'm like, she deserves to have sex. You know, everyone deserves to have sex at some point. <laughs> Now I just have all these like rules and stuff around it, but uh, yeah, it's not gonna help. Anyway, if that's you and, and it's impacted your life to, to that extent like it has mine, just know that there's lots of us out there. And I was just telling Crystal, I don't know why it was so scarring for me, damaging for me, but I think it's because I literally felt dehumanized. I felt like I was a criminal. I actually had to sit there in front of like 15 other men that are like supposed to be the most spiritual giants in in the area and I had to just watch them kind of like be little grimace yeah grimace and shake their heads and wince and one of them even said to me how how could you do this you were an endowed elder uh, you went on a mission how how could you do this what was the feelings that went through your your mind and your heart when you put those sacred garments on the floor how and I, I I didn't feel human anymore at that point because I didn't I couldn't even answer that I couldn't even give an answer um, gosh if that's you guys I'm so sorry that that ever happened to you it breaks my heart I, I know how you feel um, and you were always good you were always good 